and welcome to Bay Area Focus. I'm your host, Maria Medina. Today we'll talk about workforce development classes, pit bull training workshops, and distinctive youth programs. But first, a music center that's been going strong for over 90 years. Chris Borg and Martha Rodriguez Salazar will tell us all about CMC. I don't even know where to start. I have so many questions. Uh, I learned just off camera a few minutes ago that you guys offer classes, offer workshops for babies as young as two months old. So tell yeah. me all about CMC. Well, thanks for having us. For 94 years, uh, since 1921, the San Francisco Community Music Center has realized an unchanged mission, a single mission of providing a very high quality music education to anybody. And so today we serve over 23,000 people in the Bay Area and 2,400 of them are students. And uh, in that population, we're able to provide uh, over a million dollars of tuition assistance in our programs. And you're right, our programs start at two months old with our family music classes. And we have uh, seniors as old as 94 taking violin lessons. Nice, okay, so, and it's not just classes, right? What else do you offer? Well, we offer also master classes. We offer um, classes that have to, to do with group classes as well. Um, we have wonderful collaborations throughout the city with organizations like San Francisco Performances, where we uh, bring down world-class musicians, musicians to our stage and uh, provide a free concert. Um, and so we really reach into the communities um, that we serve, um, not only with our, um, our classes and our courses, but also just providing the kind of programs that reflect the communities that we serve. Okay, and Martha, you yeah. run a program as well, right? I run a couple of programs, in fact. Uh, one of them, which is really meaningful for me, it's the, the older adult choir. Uh, you know, CMC has had like a couple of older choir. Um, and then what happened is that uh, UCSF was about to do a research study about the benefits of uh, music in older populations. And uh, thankfully, we got this amazing grant from Google last year, uh, Challenge Impact Grant. And we were able to extend these programs that we have to maybe in 2017, we'll have maybe like 12 plus, 17 plus wow. choirs all throughout the city where we can serve different communities and different languages as well. So, you know, uh, we've seen it all over the news that, you know, performing arts programs are being cut in mm -hmm. schools. So music is so important. What kind of outreach are you guys doing to uh, families out there? And I also want to note that anyone could go to CMC, right? doesn't yeah. matter how much they make. Exactly, and that's really lies at the center of the mission, is to provide opportunity to anybody for music education. And they could take lessons, they could be part of an ensemble. Um, our outreach is through our partnerships um, with other organizations in the Mission District and other locations in the, in the city. Um, we give concerts at nursing homes, um, Carnival. Um, our kids very much enjoy getting out there and performing, just having fun with it. Okay, speaking of that, we actually have a clip, right, of a student. So yes. take, let's take a look at that. Try every one measure 33. Okay, here you go. In high school, my grandparents passed away within about a year of each other. Um, I was having trouble with my friends and my grades were doing very bad. <laughs> And the only way that I was getting through it was through music. Whatever is bothering me usually goes away once we start rehearsing. So let me ask you this. Why do you think music is so important for anybody, for any age? We believe it transforms lives. Um, and we see that especially in our, our young musicians programs where uh, students who have been with us for five years um, have become tracked for life, uh, whether they go on to after high school to a job or to college. And um, they come back and tell us why it was so important that they're part of our community. Let's say you're a little nervous performing in front of you know anyone. Are there any private lessons that you offer? We offer a, well, a lot of our work is in private lessons, and we offer over 30 instruments. And um, you know, it's not just a music lesson. Uh, students come in there to meet up with a friend. Uh, the faculty member becomes their mentor. Um, and as we saw in that clip, 
um, Nana really regards Marta here as a, a lifelong mentor. Okay, so again, your program, anyone can join, doesn't matter how much money they make. I um, have to ask you, how do you guys keep this program afloat? I'm assuming lots of volunteers. Well, you know, it would be easy to drift away from that mission, um, especially with economic cycles, but it really is the heart of what we do. So we get generous support from foundations in the Bay Area. We also um, are able to draw from a small endowment. Um, we use tuition in ways that um, is spread across uh, for other people to be able to use. Um, so it's, um, it's, it's, a, it's a delicate equation, but it's working for us. All right. You just want to let, let everyone know that you guys are out there, right? Yes. Yeah? Definitely. Come on down. The common down, and you know, it really we serve so different different uh, kinds of people and also different languages. Um, for what I do, I'm Mexican, so what I do a lot of is Latin music. And one of the the questions you ask is how there's a class that's been offered, like how to perform in public as well. I mean, and how mm. to be able to sing comfortably. I mean, we always will be nervous, and how to sing with all those nerves. And the program that you, you mentioned, we mentioned before, the Mission District Young Musicians Program, is uh, teaching all these kids who are mostly from Latino families who don't know about their heritage. And we're teaching them what is it about and all how right. to perform. Well, thank you guys so thank much you. for joining Thanks. us. Thank you so much, Chris and Martha. For more information on the Community Music Center, log on to sfcmc.org. That's sfcmc.org. And coming up, how Wardrobe for Opportunity helps low-income residents find jobs and keep them.